What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team vid. Guys, how are we doing today? Um, guys, I just want to talk about how to evolve players the most efficient way and honestly the most fun way. Guys, before we get into it, drop a like on the vid. So if you're new, guys, we're dropping vids every day. If you guys have like, if you guys have like sniping questions, any questions about the auction? I got a ton of videos, including we're gonna drop another vid after this one about the auction. So stay tuned for that, um, guys. Drop the like. We'll give away 10k MT if the vid hits 50 likes, guys. Just drop the like. Sub if you're new. That's simple. We're posting every day. We're on the grind, bro. We've been grinding so hard. I mean, yeah, I I've been grinding. I do work a lot, so I I, I mean, this isn't too bad. It could be better, but this is what I got done so far. And I've been grinding a little single player triple threat. Um, but yeah, um, let's get into it. So the fastest way to evolve players right now, um, first of all, there's a ton of ways. I tried a bunch of ways to evolve players and there's a couple ways that kind of catch my eye. First off, um, to evolve, these are the players I have evolved. I have evolved every single player I could get my hands on. I just copped the new Channing French fry. Um, he is freaking, his jump shots, I feel like kind of glitched, honestly, I tried grinding out with his emerald. His jump shot is definitely glitched in my opinion. I really think it is. Um, every single dude I have has been upgraded all the way besides the D-Wade. I just got him. I don't know why I didn't get him in the beginning. Um, I got D-Wade. I'm working on him and I'm working on Channing French Fry. Other than that, this Gerald Green is so good. You guys need to get him. I highly recommend you get him. He's in single player triple threat. 15 wins. Unbelievable. But Cedric Sabol's a must. All these dudes are just from Domination, regular Domination. You should upgrade them. Um, but so I know a lot of people have been struggling with Domination. So because they've been trying, I heard. I actually tried it too. If you use your card evolutions, you could use them in Dom. I, you could use them in this Domination. But what I like to do, if you want to use it in Domination... I would go, um, I would use some of them and I would like work on three at a time. Like I'll put, i uh, say two in my starting lineup and one of them as my six man. So for instance, we would put, uh, if Markel Fultz was Emerald, I'll put Markel Fultz here. And let's say we have Zizek Emerald. I would put him there and I'll put like one other dude in my uh, six man. I would try to spam them. What I like to do to get points with them and what I like to do in general, yo, all you have to really do is just set picks. Like if, if you're having trouble in domination in general or in any game on single player, just set picks. You hold LB on PS4, it's L1. It's so simple. Um, I mean, I haven't lost any games. I'm undefeated online. As you can see, I'm 5-0. and All I do is set picks, bro. Um, if you have trouble shooting the three, I pretty much have trouble too. Because for some reason, this game online is sluggish and three balls are just off. Like, I just, you can't make threes consistently. Um, but the fastest, most efficient way to evolve a player is simply just playing single player triple threat. I mean, it is just the best way to evolve a player. It's so good every single time. Bro, I have 23 wins and I evolved every single one of my players. Like, I mean, every single one. It's so good. I evolved everybody. So, like, let me just show you examples. So, all these evolve. I evolve every single one in um, single player triple threat besides Diop and I think uh, one other one. I believe is Caruso. So, I did all these dudes. Um, to be honest, bro, single player triple threat. If you are in the beginning of it, it's very simple. I feel like the difficulty does go up. I'm pretty sure it does. But... Um, it's very simple. If you start doing your evolve, uh, if you start evolving your players within the first like 20 games, it's super easy. You pretty much green with like anybody. Like you could green with a bum. So highly recommend it. Especially since if you need steals for that bridges dude, I would definitely play single player triple threat. The difficulty is very low in the first couple games. Not only that, you get tokens, you get gel green. It's super worth it. I highly recommend you play single player triple threat. You work on evolving players. You work on um, you work on tokens, evolving players, and it's just the best thing to evolve players. I definitely recommend it. And if you guys did not see some of the stats on how to, uh, what players I evolved so far, I'll show you some of the stats. Um, I got some studs. Like honestly, dude, even this Musa is pretty good. He's got an 83, an 80 mid range, 84 close shot, dude. These are all free players. You guys gonna have like some fire, fire cards with this. He's got a 75 driving dunk, a 70 steal. His perimeter D is trash. 
I'm pretty sure this Markel Foles is actually good. 77 3, 84 mid, 86 close shot. Yo, he's stacked. His free throw's trash. Um, let's check his layup. His layup's an 87, bro. Markel Fultz hasn't been good one year yet. He has not been good once. And he actually has a good card in my team, which is crazy. Um, Damian Dotson, bro, on the Knicks. Dude, he has an 85 three-pointer. He has an 85 free throw. He has a 70 dunk. Decent ball handles. Decent passing. Defense is atrocious. So what I'm noticing with these cards is that their freaking defense is trash. But, dude, he even has 13 goal badges, dude. He's free. We got, uh, I think it's anti. I don't know. Um, dude, he can shoot free throws, he can shoot mids, dunking's decent, um, block's pretty freaking good, interior defense is pretty solid, he's actually really good, if you have a budget squad, he's a fire, man. He's, a, he's a good player, dude, this Denzel Valentine is so good for me, I use him once in a while, I use him on 9-1 game and he went off, he splashed, let's check out his badges, cause he's wet, corner specialist, catch and shoot, yeah, he's a corner specialist, bro, he's like Clay Day in the corner, um, he's nice, bro, He's a small forward. I recommend you use him. Definitely a really good bench player. I highly recommend, bro. This is all I got so far. I know it's not a lot, but dude, this Tory Brown splashes. I'm not even kidding. His jump shot is money. Even though his three is not the best. Mid-range is water. Driving dunk's pretty freaking good. Handles are actually really good. Perimeter D is not the best, but it'll do. He's very good for a free card. I recommend him, bro. These, this D op is actually pretty good too. His mid range is there, his three is there, standing dunk, his driving dunk, everything's there, bro. His stats are really good. For some reason, everybody's defense are trash. Bridges, bro, he's got to have a good steal. 76 steal, yeah. He's kind of clamps. He could dunk a little bit. He's got the speed. He's got the three pointer. He's got the passing. Yo, this car is probably one of the best cards that you could get as an 84 overall, in my opinion, bro. He's stacked. Um, next up, we got Terrence Ferguson. He stacked too, and he got a good dunk. He got a 95 dunk with an 84 3. This guy is straight cheese. He even got good perimeter D, and he can steal the ball. Dwight Powell, I'm pretty sure he can shoot. 73 3, 82 mid, 77 free throw, driving dunk. All right, yeah, this card's pretty good too. I'm just going over the cards if you did not see them yet. We got Alex Caruso, 84 3 point shot, not bad. 869 mid, eh. Driving dunk at an 85 steal. Perimeter D is not bad. And last, Ivan Rob, I think that's how you say his name. Can't shoot for his life. Uh, post fade, post hook's decent. You can get away with it. Driving dunk's not good. Sand dunk's pretty good. Um, defense is awful. Eh, would I really recommend the car? I guess he's a good rebounder, but... Eh, other oh, there we go. I found the Gerald Green. These are all the players from Triple Threat Rewards. Bro, this Gerald Green was stacked even with the Sapphire. You guys need to play single player Triple Threat. Dude, this is literally one of the best rubies in the game. First of all... He has freaking Hall of Fame badges as a ruby. Like, what? Like, fast break finisher. Um, boost players take over. He got difficult shots. Acrobat. Volume shooter. Lob state finisher. He has 21 goal badges as a ruby. This card is a glitch, bro. I use him online. He's green. He's money. He's so easy to upgrade. And in single player triple threat, it's actually fun to play with him. Because all he does is dunk on players and gets green releases on three. Dude, you gotta get him. Here's the stats, bro. It's money. You got an 81 3, 83 mid, 85 close shot, 82 free throw, 90 driving dunk, bro. He could pass. The only thing is, his defense is trash. But yo, if you're good at usering, bro, you should have no problem using this card. This card is the money maker. He is absolutely disgusting. You gotta get this card. It's that simple, bro. I wanna see these Darius Miles stats. I haven't seen it. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. I hope involving the players, bro. I hope it works out for you. It's very simple, bro. Make sure you just play single player triple threat. It's the easiest, the fastest way. And honestly, I find single player triple threat very fun. You guys might not, but I don't know. I, I enjoy it. I like grinding, getting my tokens up and stuff. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. Make sure you sub to the channel. Make sure you like the vid, guys. Sub if you're new, please. It'll help me out. And I'm posting every day. I'm not like just cheesing. I'm not posting one vid a day. I'm not skipping vids. I'm posting three times a day bro join the wave we're gonna probably be streaming tonight too so come out for that um the stream bro we haven't streamed in a minute we're definitely probably gonna stream tonight because honestly i've been bored my life and i just want to stream i hope you guys have a good one stay tuned for a stream peace tomorrow ticket flight